guys, Teddy here. Welcome back to Blade and Simple. Just spending the day doing some nice maintenance. You know the Trinity. Keep it oil, keep it safe, keep it sharp. Going through some of my knives and uh, came across a knife that I haven't used in a while. Got it in hand and then I realized why I don't use this blade. It is probably the most unsafe blade I own. And I'll tell you why. It is an extremely attractive blade. It's a very comfortable blade. Well-designed blade. Not very well thought out for the North American and European market. So let's get into this. Real Steel Bush Crafter. Eight and a half inches overall. Four inch blade. Four and a half inch handle. Polished G10. Lead liners. D2 steel, Scandi grind, overall weight, 11.4 ounces. Comes with a Kydex sheath, taco style design Kydex sheath. Nice belt loop, you can move this around, you can carry it scout style, you can... lots of options. Secures really well, doesn't move around, doesn't jiggle, makes no noise, easy to deploy. Very simple Kydex sheet. Now the problem herein lies the handle. This handle is very slippery. This G10 handle is super slick. This has no ricasso. Has a minor sharpening trail right there as you see. And just to give you a reference of how small it is, this is my finger next to it. And being this has no real guard, it's easy to slide right onto that blade. Now I have Puko style knives that have no guard, but it does have a larger handle and it does have a grippy handle. So your hand stays put. This G10 is super slick, so you will easily slide on this blade, especially if your hands get wet, you will slide on this onto the blade. This knife has bitten me more than once. Now, I would have loved to see them use my carter, something a bit grippier. I have used traction tape or Wilson wrap, and it prevents it from securing in the sheath. I have used hockey tape, it just rolls back. I've tried many different things to add some grip to this to prevent it from sliding in your hand. And everything I've tried, I've had to take off. That's why I say this is the most unsafe blade I own. Now, if you have medium to large size hands, as you guys know, I wear extra large size gloves. And this barely fits my hand. As you can see, barely fits. If you wear a medium to large size gloves, you may want to purchase this, but I would suggest get it in hand first. Try it out. See how it feels in your hand. It is an extremely attractive blade. Very attractive. Beautiful design. Beautiful design. Well designed blade not well thought out that's why i say this was not thought out properly for the north american and european market so there's my two cents guys if you have smaller hands medium-sized hands this may work for you if you have large size hands you may want to forego this knife and look for some other option the choice is yours get it in hand but be careful You'll get bit by this knife very easily. That's why I say this is the most unsafe knife I own. So as always, till next time, keep it well, keep it safe, keep it sharp. Take care of your blades, guys. They'll be there when you need them. See you in the next video.